Hello world, I'm LJ and this is LJ Goes Sweden. Today it's time for the reaction of the Swedish song for the Eurovision Song Contest in Sweden. If you're just here to see my reaction, check out the timestamp because there you can skip forward because right now I'm gonna talk about my daily life as always. Yes, so what happened today? Well, it was a Monday, so another day at work and actually today I could finally focus back on my own projects and when I'm talking about my own projects I am mostly talking about this programming thing. Today I tried running it on the card with the power supply connected and everything. Well, let's just say it didn't work out at all. <laughs> First I had some problems with the power supply that did not work, then I fixed that. Then I had another problem with the power supply that the voltage levels are not really consistent. And I also had other things to do at work, which is why I basically stopped at this testing thing. But I will now, of course, focus on that tomorrow. So I hope I can fix the whole power supply thing without blowing something up, hopefully. Because it is actually something that I still am a bit scared, to be honest. If you have not seen the other videos, the day before Easter I blew up the capacitor on one of the cards because I made a mistake with the connections. Yes, and that was actually already all that happened at work. I had another idea about my whole Tesla buying dream or not buying because I got kind of scared about the whole situation with used Teslas and let's just say their repair costs might be bad, might be not so bad, but it depends of course on the person who drove the car, how careful and what do you guys think? Would it be worth buying a used Tesla from like 2021 with 50, 60,000 um, kilometers or more, which costs still around... 30,000 euros, so 350,000 crowns. Or should I just buy a new Model 3 for 41,000 euros or nearly 500,000 crowns? Because, like, I don't know how much the repair costs are for the used one, but I know at least with a new one they are under the guarantee. So... Yeah, that's, that's the thing I'm currently thinking about. And that is it for today. So now let's go straight into the reaction for the song from Sweden. Hey guys, I'm LJ and today I will be reacting to Marcus and Martinez with their song Unforgettable, which is this year's song for the Eurovision Song Contest from Sweden in Sweden. So what do I think about the song already beforehand? Well, I have watched all those Melody Festival and shows because I am living in Sweden. If you're interested in the whole national performances from Sweden, so the Melody Festival and all those shows, I have done some videos about that also with reactions. You can check them out right there. And yeah, so, but as always, now I will react to the song first, then I will give you my opinion about the whole thing. And in the end, I will give a point rating Ranking from 1 point to 10. But now, let's go. So first of all, what I can already tell you guys, I really like this stage setup. The small hallway, basically, and the laser shows. Unforgettable. So this part is really awesome with this whole performance on stage and this music. Dim, 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 dim.
and now the hallway basically has moved out so there's more space I really really like their stage performance has some type of matrix vibes She's unforgettable. But now I already have to tell you guys, this is the part that I don't like at the song. Like for me, this feels like it's a build up. It's building up to something and I'm waiting on it. But as you guys know, if you have listened to this song already, nothing is coming. It's unforgettable. And that's it. So, well, well, well. Marcus and Martinos. <sighs> I will give a short recap on the things that I already told in the other videos. So, when I was listening to that song for the first time, I was like, whoa, that's awesome. As I already said during the reaction, I really like this whole playing with the light. Everything is dark. It's a very tight hallway and you don't have so much space to move around there. And then the hallway basically, or like the walls move away and you have like all those dancers. It's, it's a cool song and it's really catchy. But based on the whole Melodie Festivalen, Marcus and Martinez were not my first pick. There were other songs that I felt like they would be more entertaining and a bit cooler representing Sweden this year as they are the hosts. Because I always think like if you have won last year, the chances of winning again are very low anyways. So of course it's always good to pick the best people that you can bring. And Marcus and Martinez will definitely bring the party to Eurovision. But there were, for example, uh, Medina... That was a really, really good, positive party song that I would have enjoyed seeing at the grand stage in Malmö. Or other songs that were just impressive. For example, the one from Lisa Ajax or from Daughter. But that's something else. Okay, so we have Marcus and Martinez. How much points or how high do I even see their chances? Well, first of all, I think they are not going to be in the top 10. In the final, I think they are maybe, I think they are between 10 and 20, somewhere there. And based on my own opinion, how much points I'm going to give them, basically two, two thirds of the song I really like. And then in the end, you have this build up, which basically leads to nothing, which I don't enjoy so much. So in my opinion, I would give this song six and a half points, which is Probably due to the fact that I have listened to the song so many times already. So this is no first reaction. This is my impression after having this song already heard many, many times. So I give 6.5 to Sweden for this year. So that is my opinion on the song from Sweden. What do you guys think? Do you think Marcus and Martinez gonna rock the place when it's time for the final? Or do you just think that this song is not too exciting and Sweden could have sent someone else? Feel free to include your opinion in the comments. Also, if you have a certain point ranking in your head from 1 to 10 points, include that as well. And if not, well, there's another chance tomorrow because tomorrow I'm going to react to the song from Switzerland. But until then, I hope you had a wonderful day. See you there. Bye bye.